Earth is the only place in the universe where we know for sure that there's life. But what about elsewhere in the solar system? I'm going to be looking at five of our neighboring worlds where we might find evidence of life, either past or present. And I'm going to give you these in reverse order from fifth to first. Number two on my list, it's another moon, it's Europa. Europa is one of the four large moons of Jupiter, the so-called Galilean moons, because Galileo was the first to see them in the early 1600s. And Europa is a fascinating place. It's been explored by the Galileo spacecraft, which orbited around Jupiter, I hope I get my dates right here, between 1995 and 2003. And it made the discovery, through various measurements, that Europa has an underground ocean. In fact, it appears that the icy crust of Europa is between about 10 and 20 kilometers thick, and beneath this, and going around the entire moon, is an ocean up to 100 kilometers deep. In fact, it appears that it contains about twice as much water as all the oceans on Earth. And also, there appears to be an exchange of material going on, a continual exchange of material between the surface and the ocean. It appears that slabs of ice from the surface slide down into the ocean, a bit like plate tectonics on Earth, bringing down organic material from the surface because organic material arrives, for example, on comets and asteroids, taking that down into the ocean, and also water from the ocean wells up to the surface because the surface of Europa is one of the youngest in the solar system. That, by young, I mean that it's constantly being remade. It's changing all the time because of stuff that's happening. The ocean welling up to the surface and freezing again on the surface. So we've got this exchange of material going on. Europa is a very, very promising place to look for life because we've got water, we've got organic material, we've got change happening. Probably also there are hydrothermal vents at the bottom of the ocean on Europa and hydrothermal vents on Earth are the home for large communities of organisms, everything from microbes up to you know, crabs and fish, worms, all kinds of things. And also one of the places that scientists suspect life may first have originated. So we'd love to go back to Europa and take a closer look. And that's going to happen because in 2024, NASA is going to launch its Europa Clipper spacecraft, which will take about six years to arrive at Jupiter, will go into orbit around Jupiter, and then make multiple passes of Europa, as close as 25 kilometers, looking for more evidence of Europa's habitability. Not whether it actually has life, but whether it has all the conditions necessary for life.